hello friends welcome to my channel shisa's crochet in this tutorial we are going to see how to crochet uh, this granny rectangle granny pattern uh, using this pattern we can crochet baby blankets shawl uh, scarves or a tabletop rug uh, we can use so using this pattern if you are going to crochet a baby blanket uh, which is having the length of 100 chains you should not take it you should not make it a hundred chains as your foundation chain what you have to do is you can take 50 to 60 that means the half of the chain half of the chain uh, 50 to 60 any number between 15 to 60 uh, which is multiple of 3 2 because when you do this crochet this pattern the increase in every stitch I mean every round will give the increase and in the length and the width sides will uh, we will get the increase it will, we are going to crochet in a circle or in a, a rectangle uh, shape so one row when you add this side it's going to be added here it's going to be added here this is I'm completely speaking only for the beginners others they would know this definitely so let's start this project uh, also I want to tell you if you're going to uh, do the scarf what you can do is if you need the length of 100 chains or say example 200 chains you can just I want to tell you if you're going to uh, do the scarf what you can do is if you need the length of 100 chains or say example 200 chains you can just make 175 that means like um, uh, three fourth of the uh, size you can take as a uh, foundation chain and then the remaining sides you can um, use the stitches to be increased so you will get the exact shape for this pattern otherwise if you start doing if you are going to take 100 chains itself uh, for the baby blanket as a foundation chain it's going to be a, a long rectangle uh, project so to avoid that just keep in your mind on the calculations so let's start this project I have here two colors of yarn one is pink and another one is white so we'll start with the pink color let's make a slip knot and then we are going to make 15 chains that is multiples of 3 1 2 here we got 15 chains and one more chain we are going to make additionally so it's become 16 then into the fourth stitch we are going to make one double crochet so yarn over insert the hook into the fourth stitch one again into the and one more double crochet into the same space so we got three double crochet stitches into the same space and this chain here this space is going to be act as a uh, loop for the corner chain one let's skip two chains that is here our stitch and one two into the third let's do three double crochet stitches one two and three now again chain one skip two that's one two into the third three double crochets one two and three so let's continue till the end of this round Now we have reached at the end of this uh, round, so yarn over, 
insert the hook into the last stitch that's over here let's do three double crochets one two three and then chain one three more double crochets one two three let's make chain three one two three into the same stitch let's do three double crochets one two and three now we have set our first corner now let's do chain one we are going to make three double crochet stitches into each space one two three now let's make three double crochet into this space one two three and then chain one again into the same space three double crochets one two three and slip stitch into the chain the first chain here we have set two corners let's move to the second round now let's make three double crochet into this space one two three and then chain one again into the same space three double crochets one two three and slip stitch into the chain the first chain Here we have set two corners to the second round. Chain three, one, two, three. Inside the same space, let's do two double crochets. One, two. So we got three double crochets, including this chain. Then two chain again into the same space three double crochets so this is our first corner one two three chain one now we are going to continue into each space three double crochets one two three chain one Here we have reached at the corner so chain one let's insert the hook into the space here one two three chain two insert the hook into the same space three double crochets one two and three this is our second corner now chain one and to the next corner three double crochet one two three then chain two one two same space one two Three, three double crochets chain one now let's continue with the 
three double crochets into each space till we reach the corner now we have reached at the corner chain one insert the hook into this one two three chain one two again three double crochets one two three let's slip stitch on the top of this chain one two three now we have finished round two for the next round chain three one two three three double crochet one two three two chain three double crochets one two three chain one and in this space we are going to make three double crochets one two three chain one into the corner three double crochets one two three chain one two again three double crochets one two and three chain one let's continue till the end of this row so we have finished our uh, third round also if you are going to continue you can slip stitch into this chain and chain three again we will follow the same pattern till we get the desired length and width of our project now i'm going to show you how to uh, make the border so for that let's take the second color and do the slip knot instead of taking this pink through this loop let's take this white color through this two loops and then pull the working yarn for the white and the pink color let's snip off this pink we are going to continue with this we are going to continue with the white color let's do a single crochet into this stitch Keep it up. and then we are going to make inside this space five double crochet stitches insert the hook into this one two three four and five then into the second stitch we have three double crochet stitches so in the middle one let's do a single crochet again into the next space five double crochet one two three four and five so this is how we are going to repeat this entire round into the second stitch a single crochet again five double crochets one two three four five here a single crochet so let's continue the same pattern till the end of this round now we have reached at the corner so let's do a single crochet into this stitch and then into this corner five double crochet one two three four and five and then into this single crochet 
same like before we'll continue up to the last stitch also let's do five double crochets one two three four and five and into the same stitch where we started a slip stitch and chain one let's snip off this yarn So friends here we have finished our project uh, i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this video please hit the like button share with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you